Hey everyone, welcome to Live Free and Tool On. On this channel, we review tools, we test tools out, we do homeowners projects, we really try to look at the best value for tools and see what they're really worth in the real world, not just in some laboratory out there. Now this is a special episode as well because not only are we going to be testing tools out, I'm going to be doing free giveaways. And with that giveaway, you need to stick around, watch the video. I'm going to be giving away one of these special edition certs that I had custom made. Now this is pretty appropriate because when in doubt, torque it out. You're also going to get a, a really awesome custom stickers that I personally designed myself and we produce here as well. So stick around throughout the entire video and you're going to see when how you can sign up and then I'm actually going to be giving away three different prize packages with the shirts and the stickers so you have really good odd chances of winning today we're going to be doing a really cool battle and this is battle of the house brands for Home Depot and Lowe's as you know those are the two largest home improvement stores in America and these are the two largest house brands in America as well this is Cobalt and this is Ryobi now specifically we're going to be testing out the drill drivers with the hammer drill feature on them now over the years people really go for house brands for one reason and that's value they're going to get a tool that does the job but they're going to get it for a less price than some of the prosumer or some of the contractor grade tools such as Makita, Milwaukee and DeWalt and over the years they've really increased the value in terms of the technology, the capabilities. Now the price has went up a little bit too, but it's still not at that upper echelon level. It's still lower. And with that lower level, it is really appealing because the technology and the abilities you're getting out of both of these tools, well, it's pretty incredible. And today we're actually going to be testing that out. And we're not going to do it in a little way. We're really going to put these to the test. It so much is that they may fail. I may destroy these tools. So you know what let's get into the specifications of the we'll start with the Ryobi it has two different speeds the first speed is number one which is 500 rpms and then number two which is 2100 rpms it has a 24 position clutch and it has two different speeds on the hammer speed which is 5400 uh, blows per minute and then 31,000 blows per minute the total torque, which is the power of this particular tool, is 750 inch-pounds, which is awesome. One thing I do want to point out is that this is a brand new version of this particular uh, tool, and the old version had almost the same specs. The big difference is the technology within the motor itself. It has a lot more features in terms of safety, um, energy management, cooling. It has a lot of great stuff in there, so it's going to last longer, and it actually produces a lot more efficient power, so you're getting more work done. Okay, now let's move over to the Cobalt. It also features two speeds. The first speed, which is 550 RPMs, and then the second speed, which is 2,000 RPM. It creates 32,000 blows per minute on high when you're in hammer mode, and it has a 24 position clutch as well. Now here's where things get a little crazy. This drill produces 1200 inch pounds of torque. Now I understand there's a big disparity there between the two tools, but let me tell you something, as a house brand, this produces numbers which are on the uh, tiers of, of the upper echelon tools, which is pretty incredible. And I can't believe they actually did it. So I'm very happy to have the tool. I'm very happy that they went ahead and they installed this type of technology and they're putting it out there to the public. So going through the test, both of these tools are gonna to be using a four amp hour battery. And they're going to be uh, ultimate or high output or high performance batteries. The top of the line batteries for both of the tools. So now that you know a little bit more about the tools themselves, let's talk about the barrage of tests that we're going to put them through. Today we're actually going to take this big granite block. Now I live in New England, so I have a lot of rocks. All I have to do is go dig a hole and I have a uh, big rock there. The reason why I'm going to use granite is because it is a super hard material. It's been formed collecting over thousands of years so it's really going to put these through the ringer and I want to start out with this because I want to see the top performance out of both of these particular drills and then we're going to move into something a little bit different we're going to drill a five inch hole this is a hole saw and we're going to see who can do it the fastest we're going to do side by side uh, timing test on both of these now when I do both of these tests for the hammer drill I'm going to have that on number two speed 
and I'm just going to see how fast I can go as much as possible. However, we have to go the opposite when we go with the five inch hole drill. I have to use the number two, or sorry, the number one setting because you need the most torque you can possibly get for this. And then we're going to move down the line. We're going to use a one inch auger bit. We're going to go as deep as we possibly can, as fast as we can. I, I don't think that we're going to have a lot of issues out of this, but it's a very good test for a drill driver. And then we're going to move to a paddle bit. This is an inch and a quarter paddle bit and we're just going to blow straight through wood as fast as possible. We're going to move on to a 3 8 inch, 8 inch long lag bit. Now I'm very skeptical and I'm hoping that at this point for both of these drills that I'm going to be able to drive this all the way in. If I don't, then we'll see which one sticks out the highest. And then finally, we're going to end it on a very sweet note. This is a 8 inch timber lock screw. This doesn't provide a crazy amount of friction, but it's a great test, especially for depth. And let's end the test strong. Let's see if we can get the small stuff in at the end. Now, something I do want to point out is that we are using only 4 amp hour batteries. I'm not going to change them out. We're going to use one singular battery through the entire test. Alright guys, let's go ahead, let's jump right in. Two, one. So here's the situation. I burnt up both bits on this. I understand it's granite. I understand it's not the best bits in the world. So I can't actually use this granite. I'm going to have to switch to a CMU unit and uh, we're going to step the size down just a little bit and we'll go through. I think that's going to be a, a way better test. Uh, Three, two, two, one. So there you have it. Not everything goes according to plan every single time and let me tell you, um, I have discolored. These are turning blue. I really destroyed the bits when I tried to go into this daggone granite. First time I've actually 
killed bits so fast, but I believe that has a lot to do with how powerful both of these hammer drills are in uh, trying to get this done. But not to worry, we still got the test done just with a CMU unit, which is just basically, it's man-made concrete, it's compressed. Um, I've had that piece for a long time. But let's look at the test results. Really, the cobalt came out on top just about every time, um, except the auger. And I really can't say that that's a pretty fair test because you had to pull it out, it was getting clogged, it wasn't sending the wood shavings up as the best that it possibly could. So uh, really I'm going to call that a tie. It was, it was user error on a lot of that. Uh, but I want to point out one thing. This has 450 inch pounds more torque than this uh, drill. So cobalt is a lot more powerful than the Ryobi. But they were on par, and they and well, they were on par with each other, and they stayed equal almost throughout the entire um, test. Except you could tell uh, when the torque mattered on the hammer drill. I mean, it really got there. And on the three eight inch, eight inch long uh, lag, which was not pre-drilled, um, this sunk it in just fine. This wasn't able to do it. It came up just a little bit short, which you know I believe was less than half an inch. Um, so all in all. I'm very happy with the test. Uh, both of these drills performed excellent, especially for a house brand, and that's what you want to see. You're looking at expert level performance out of both of these tools. Now let's talk a little bit about the pricing. For this kit with a 4 amp hour battery, this is going to cost you $200. That's up there. That's almost the same price as the professional tool brand. Now if you want to get this, this is an interesting situation. They sell the tool only, not with the battery, as a combo kit for the Ryobi. And if you want to buy the tool only, that's $119. Pretty reasonable price, especially for the performance. Here's the kicker. You can actually get this with the impact driver as a kit for $229 with a 2 amp hour high performance battery and a 4 amp hour high performance battery. And then you have both of the tools. So for almost the same price, you know, 20 or $30 more for the Ryobi, you actually get two different tools with two batteries, and they're both high performance. So I really have to give the better value of the situation, you know, if we're looking at dollars to performance, um, and what you're going to get out of it. I mean, Ryobi really has such a good deal going just for the kit. That's where you're going to get the best bang for your buck if you're a homeowner. If you're looking for pure performance, Cobalt showed it, uh, showed it. It has a great performance. It has awesome power. This is where you want to go if you want that high performance. Okay, let's talk about the giveaway. This is going to be super simple. First, please like the video. Second, share the video. Go to the link down below to my Facebook page. Send me a private message on my Facebook page. And the first people that send me a private message saying free giveaway and if you can include a uh, drill driver video or hammer drill video, I'm going to send the first three people a free t-shirt and a pack of stickers. It couldn't be more simple. I'm going to pay for the shipping. I'm going to pay for the shirt and the stickers. So I really appreciate everyone tuning in. I really hope to see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. We'll see you then.